greetings in the name of the struggle. Is Soleto. Yeah. It is with utterance of displeasure to perceive betrayal by those state governments and in solidarity with the concern toward the plight of peace loving people of those states that the leaders of four mentioned organizations meant to galvanize idea on the way forward. Our dear people of those states could recall that on Monday, 30th January 2023, the Affirmation organization led, led a peaceful protest to re echo the plight of Edo people who have been currently subjected to undue hardship, made to stand in long queue to purchase premium motor spirit, popularly called fuel, at exorbitant prices. As a fact, the price in Edo State will be the highest in the entire country. Due to artificial scarcity created by Conning activities of unions of marketers of petroleum products. It's also worthy of note that the Edo State Government, through the Office of Commissioner for Energy and Oil and Gas, Honorable Itan Uzami, and Sunday that it aid on media and publicity, Honorable Kruso Osagi, also responded. The subsequent meeting with critical stakeholders in distribution chain which include marketers, security agencies, federal government regulatory agencies, and civil society organizations, was tailored towards ensuring compliance and enforcement of products at approved pump price if necessary. Hence, the decision to set up monitoring committee and release daily of routine and manifest of petroleum products into a dose state. Who are we? so that the, the citizen can find them to buy. However, in words and letters, those state government assure all are sundry that they could do the needful with positive results within 24 hours. The people of Edo State believe this pointless response of Edo State government. But sadly, the government did not back its words and the bogle promises with no actions. Dear people of Edo State, the demand of the government by the aforementioned organization were that the government should give a definite word of assurance to the people and more importantly discuss with the various stakeholders to set up task force of which member of civil society group should be part of in order to avoid sabotage of effort which the government have refused to do. Hence, some frustration reduced pump price to 250 in the morning of, the, of Tuesday, 31st of January, 2023. Apparently to feed cooperation on the other part, they quickly reversed to the selling at 450 Naira per litre and 600 Naira per litre before the close of that same day, Tuesday. I have continued to be selling for such exorbitant price from on Monday to today, Saturday, that we are doing this press conference. Dear people of Edo State, as at 12 noon today, 4th of February 2023, it could be 120 hours, five days, after the government promised to do the needful, as opposed to 24 hours a day earlier promised by the state government. In view of the above, and knowing that the plight faced by the good people of Edo State has only continued in the long, in the long because of either compliance on the part of government to regulate various unions and independent oil marketers, or apparently from converse in the part of some element in the government to, to make more gains and sustain ownership on Edo people. As everyone except those behind this artificial scarcity and superfluous price hike is affected by this hardship. Both civil servants and include members of the police and security agencies, including private business owners, and the affirmation organization have to set up the people task force to ensure that the various police stations do the needful as a federal government of Nigeria have insisted 
that there was no hike in, in uh, Prentola products from their end as the price remained at most 190 naira per litre across the country. Below are the names and contact number of the People Task Force for the regulation of pump price for of fuel in a dose state. One, Komikele Usumbo Mokawo is the task force chairman. Okay, Komri Doris Ugbefu is the deputy chairperson. Dr. Francis is the task force secretary. Komri Ulumatis, one of the tactical advisors. Komri Barrister, St. Michael, legal advisor. Komri Ultimate Equal, tactical advisor. Komri Solomon Ijogbe, director of media. Komri Curtis Ugbebo, coordinator of Edo, Edo Civil Society Organization, is the director of strategy. Komri Kola Edo, Edo Kbayi, the president of Talakawa, is the field marshal. Komri Bevi F.A. Noxin, director of protocol. Komri Dr. Kefas, member, faculty of peace organization. Comrade Ohafi uh, Davison, member, faculty of peace organization. Comrade Bello Collins, a civil society organization, member of the task force. Comrade Dr. Ucsfa, members of the task force. Comrade Obina Uniben, members of the task force. Comrade Imande Imafidon, NAS, members of the task force. Comrade Pius, NAS, Rep, Edo State, members of the task force. Comrade Fred, Take It Back Movement, members of the task force. Comrade Malwe Agbogun, members of the task force. And Comrade Precious, aka Mama P, is also members of the task force. So these are members of the task force and their phone numbers will be displayed to the general public. This is to say, by Monday, day after tomorrow, we have a task force number up to like about 50 comrades that will be on ground to ensure that petrol product is dispensed at 180 naira per liter, just the way the federal government have stated that, have denied consistently that they have not increased petrol product. We want to also say categorically that in Ekoma, in Auchi, the people over there have set up a similar task force. And as of today, as of today we are glad to say that Auchi, as at this moment, are selling petroleum products for 190 naira. And in Ekoma, they have also set up task force to enforce the same price. We are just going to say that we are not just doing this for fun. We make all necessary investigation, we make calls across board, both for ITMA, independent marketers, and those in, in the oil business. That is to say that what we have in the Dutch state is just artificial. It's just some capitalists who just want to rip a Dutch state people off and sell for for us at a very exorbitant price. So for that, for that end, if a Dutch state government fail to do the needful, we, the people, collectively, because power belongs to the people, we have put our energy, our thick time together, have a formidable, ta formidable task force that will do the needful. It's so let's